Hey, this is Dave from HouseBurns.com. Uh, together with my brother Rich and my son Caleb, we work on uh, all kinds of old houses and do all kinds of renovations and projects. We show you how to do a job yourself so you can save a lot of money in the process. Today, we are gonna create an open space in this 120 year old house by getting rid of that middle wall, this wall right here. And for us to do that, we first had to uh, put in two temporary walls to support the upstairs so that the upstairs doesn't come tumbling down upon us. We consulted an engineer and he told us that to carry the load above us, we have, uh, we're going to put up two nine and a quarter inch LVL beams. And uh, so the next step that we have to do is go ahead and start dismantling this wall bit by bit. And we're going to take out the studs, the whatever we can of the bottom plate, and then the bottom board of the two top plates. We'll leave the top, the top board in there, and that will uh, be what we'll rest our beam against, but it'll be the top of the beam will rest against that. So uh, let's get started. Caleb's putting in a cross brace on there. And that provides extra rigidity to the wall. And he's got it there at the bottom so he can tie into the bottom plate as well. And by tying into the bottom plate, that gives it a lot of rigidity. And uh, we also, this bottom plate rests directly on a joist and runs parallel with that joist in the basement. Okay, in the basement we've got two by fours nailed sideways into the joist above, but really what's doing the work is this screw jack. That screw jack will do nine to 18,000 pounds. That's more than enough to handle that one, the load on, in that one uh, floor joist and the wall above it. This are heavy duty adjustable jacks Go from four eight, four feet eight inches to eight feet four inches. And uh, we're Amazon affiliates. We'll leave a link in the description below if you're looking for those. So we've got a, a temporary wall in the basement and a temporary wall upstairs. And that clears us to go ahead and start uh, putting a beam in. This wall had some, we put some supports in this wall earlier when we were jacking up the floor from below. So Caleb's taking those out first and then we'll cut the, the brown studs or the old studs that are really the heart of the wall. Uh, beam is going to go on top of that post right there, right to the back of that, 
then rest all the way across the top of that top plate. And now we've got to make a way through the chimney. Perfect. So I'll just, I'm just going to take it out at four. Okay. Just because that's the whole brick right there and it'll follow nice. Okay. This is a full one, so it'll cut it in Cut half. that one. That's it'll a take half. This one out, yep. leave the mortar. Okay. Cut it in half. Take okay. It out, leave the mortar. Those are an inch and three quarter thick. Nine and a quarter tall, about 12 feet long. After we got all done, we check where we put those marks to see if the beam would sag down any with the added weight of the upstairs. And uh, you know, if it did, a sixteenth of an inch maybe. But I, I, I think that's within error. I think I, I would say that didn't move down a bit. But uh, yeah, we're super happy with that. All right there's the open concept that we were going for. You take away those walls and you're left with one really nice sized room. This room is about uh, 30 feet across and uh, 13, 14 feet wide. All right, so we finished with the open concept. It only took us, including the chimney work to cut that all in, took us about four or five hours to get it all done. And uh, we weren't in any big rush. So really 
for a, for a day's worth of work, you can dramatically change your space. Uh, one important note, when we did this, we had an engineer, we consulted an engineer first to make sure that we had the right support, and he did the calculations and told us uh, what we needed as far as the two LVL beams up are, and uh, yeah, we would never do it without uh, first looking, talking to the engineer. Hope this video helps. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them. Thanks a lot for viewing. If you haven't subscribed, be sure and subscribe. We've got lots more videos coming. See you next time.